Welcome back guys. Today I want to talk to you about a couple of the changes that are going to be taking place on the Mushroom Fleet in the next couple of weeks. What that means is that we're going to be moving towards a mid-game simulation and um, what that means is you won't have to be doing all your early game stuff like scrubbing all of your materials up, salvaging, early, early game crafting. So I just want to go over a few things uh, just to show how that's going to work. New patch, new universe. What? new patch, new universe. What that means is that when the patch comes, we're gonna make a lot of changes. Thick Stut, the biggest single comment which has ever been made on Mushroom Fleet, which is, I have my ship, what now? Um, people build their ships and then they find the only thing they can do is build another ship. So, we have the answer, and I'm gonna go through that now. Okay, so what we found with the new player experience research we did by talking to players and so on was that most people, they spawn in, they look at the spawn station and we're creating something called barren space, which is uh, their sanctioned factions that will always be there. They'll always be in the same place and they're easy to navigate to locations. Um, all of the interior landmarks that used to be randomly spread all over the server will be clustered around those barrens and exploration will take place everywhere else. There's a little bit more than that, but the biggest question people have is where is everything so this deals with that now there's a couple of things which i want to go over um basic idea is once you spawn you go out in any direction and you will find an area of space which has players and stuff on it um we're going to introduce the idea of loans um which means that losses hurt less when you actually lose your ship and that makes PvP more fun for everybody. No, no more of this, if only I had my, my best ship. So, uh, these are all interchangeable. As you can see from the diagram there, um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you start off in the middle and expand outwards. And uh, there'll be a little bit more on that in just a sec. So first of all, at the top we have the Space Shogun who is protected and controls the Shogunate. Uh, on his right, there's the interior or the home guard, which is formed from one of the barons. Directly below the Shogun are many promotions and ranks like dukes and things, which you can earn your way up to. The baron is the lowest peer, and there are barons on the up, down, and all of the cardinal uh, diagonals, okay? Uh, you can have a faction which has subjects or members, so they're sanctioned factions. If you do not want to be in one of those, you can rank your way up to a free man, and all that will be, uh, will be announced. But that's basically the hierarchy at the moment. Okay. Basic hierarchy. Shogun's at the top. Shogun isn't a person. Shogun is a server-run entity who literally just wants grills and he'll give you any ship or station as long as you can pay your grills. Obviously, if you can't pay your grills, the barons will send in the repo man. And at that point, you can run to another baron and you could claim protection from them. But the chances are, if you're not gonna be known for paying your grills, they probably won't want you around either. So it should breed some interesting uh, combat and uh, events on the server. Okay, so this right here is the galaxy map. Right, we've got 888 in the middle, Southeast Baron, Southwest Baron, Northwest Baron, Northeast Baron. We're looking at the galaxy from the top, this being the galactic core. And uh, then the side view shows a slightly different story. You have the pillars, that was these four. The pillars are on each side. And then you have an up and a down Baron. Okay, and that's where they are, strategically located around the throne worlds where the uh, where the shogun lives. So that's basically what's going on there. Okay. Okay, one more time. Here we are. We're going to go through another page. So this will be ship uh, ships and station loans. The shogun offers a worse rate than barons. Barons are allowed to actually give you double. So let's let you have a look at that there. So the idea is if you've got 10,000 grills and you hand them into the Shogun, you get 500,000 credit value against your ship that you want to bring in. So if your ship was worth, you know, 10 times that, you need a lot more grills. 
With the Baron, however, the Baron uh, only has to give half to the Shogun, and so he can actually give you more. But that's not for you to know, that's for the Barons to worry about. Um, the loans that are collected by the Barons, as you can see, this is what happens. So, Doody wants his ship, he pays the Baron, 50% is kept by the Baron and the rest goes to the Shogun. Of course, you can, pay, you can pay the Shogun direct, but it makes no difference because he just takes the half that would have gone to the Baron. So you actually get a worse rate because Shogun takes offerings, you see. Uh, you can buy your way into Peership, but um, that's all to be announced with actually how much you need. So any ship, any station obviously applies within the rules. You can't just have a massive ship um like over the server limits yet okay so that's basically the flow of grills okay so this is about enhancing pve as you can see my really badly drawn galaxy there we're going to be taking a side view of the universe and each of these little green eggs is basically a galaxy now as you can see there Above and below, we have buffed pirates, number one and number two. Those will be the first to go in. They will be non-spawning pirates that will only exist in the galaxies above and below the first Shogunate galaxy. So if you want to expand, that's what will happen. Further players will be uh, putting things in for us to buff out the four galaxies that go around uh, the Shogunate as well. Because we wanted to make it, if you want to leave the galaxy, you're going to find yourself a challenge and there will be server events where people will fleet up to get that done. Okay, so what we're looking at now is uh, a more in detail map of the pillar distribution around the Shogunate. So as you can see in the middle, you have the Shogun with little X's being shown as stations that could be inside that system. Each square is a system and the red dots are the home bases for each Baron on the pillars. We can't see the up and down because they're above and below, okay? The idea with the blue lines, if you can see those, the blue straight line is a protected pathway. So there would be little buoys in space indicating the route, much like Jath's race, which we did with the Millennium Falcons a while back. And those would be protected sectors. The dotted line represents the shortest route, which is obviously unprotected. These areas, of course, will be used for uh, wars between barons, or just straight up are used as war zones by the barons. So um, that's what those infill uh, areas are for. So I just wanted to show that, the protected route through there. The other stations which you see indicated by red, they are unprotected stations that we will encourage barons to maintain. This will give people a reason to come and blow stuff up and the barons should be able to uh, put them back quite easily. All right, so now we get to talk about spaces feudal opportunities that come up just during having this system in place. This is the Mushroom Fleet Proving Grounds and we've been talking about changes to the new universe once the patch hits and we reset again. It's a mid-game simulation and some of the events do include Pirate Station Cleanouts, which is a per barony uh, PvE event. Exploration fleets, again, by Baron and often PvE. Chivalry contests, which are much like tournaments, but a little bit like medieval jousting, just no horses, all ships and uh, mechs and things like that. That would be PvP. There are creative projects for people who don't want to fight and just want to build stuff. They'll be roleplay related to the whole um, uh, Shogunate and so on. There's lots of things to be built. And then the Assassin Hunt, which is actually a uh, astronaut based and uh, run by the Home Guard. So an admin will take the part of an assassin with an alt and everyone will have to hunt them down on foot or from space or in whatever way. Uh, there are still going to be non roleplay events uh, like the Proving Grounds and the lineup reviews available to all players. But we're trying to involve them into a uh, more rich story. So that's what we're trying to do with this.